You know what you are doing. Hey, I got myself the right teacher. Hey, Oyana. Yeah. Let's go. Wait now. I, I want your blood no, hot. You Let me do way. introduction first now. Why yeah. is your blood hot? <laughs> Wait, wait first. Calm down. Let me do introduction, okay? You are still writing. Hey fam, welcome back again to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Based on the title, you already know that your girl is going to be learning Swahili. Yes, I'm going to be learning Swahili. And as a serious student, I am here with my paper. I am here with my book and my pen. According to him, he has been hyping Swahili that Swahili is very easy. That under two weeks I can learn Swahili. Well, yeah, in two weeks you learn Swahili. Swahili is the easiest language in Africa. In Africa. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to find out. And the largest language in, in Africa. Yeah. Language, spoken language in Africa. Yeah, hey, see hype. Uh uh. Yeah. Okay. Thank God you are the one hyping it okay. now. I'm not the one hyping. Yeah, 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 what yeah. they say, I like hyping. Uh -huh. So I'm going to learn it. I'm going to find out. You know, I'm a very sharp student. So okay. I'll be able to tell okay. whether it's actually easy. We are going to find out in this video. I want to learn that language so that anywhere I go to, you can't tell me nothing. Huh? I'll just be speaking the Swahili. Like, it will be flowing. Okay, now the Nini is speaking fluent Swahili. Yes, that's what I want. Uh -huh. For some of you that watched that video, he's the one that said, I love mad fish. Uh -huh. Now he did so. He's the one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. No time, no time. So, what do you want me to pronounce now? Mama. Mama is M A M A. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah, now I want you to to write it, combine the word mama. Here it is ma. Uh -huh. Yeah. Can you, now you can write du double ma 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 mama means mother. Okay, mama is mother. Yes. Okay, not mama. <laughs> you are you are Wait, it's not mama. Uh, <laughs> because we Nigerians, we call him mama. Mama, it, <laughs> my mama go beat me. <laughs> yeah, the spelling is still the same. The pronunci pronunciation is still the same, but it's, to us we say mama. Mama. Yes. Okay, mama. Yeah. Okay, which other one? You can write the word Baba there. Baba. Yes. Instead of Baba. Yes. Okay, Nigerians we call it Baba. Yes. In Swahili, it is Baba. Baba in okay, Baba. Okay. Yes. Mama. Yes. Baba. Baba. Yes. So you can call your mom now, Mama. Yes. Really? Yes. That is in fact an etiquette. That is, that is an etiquette word. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Which other one? Baby. Baby. Yes. For baby. No, baby. That's baby. This is B. Baby. That's B I B I. Bibi means uh, you are grandma. It, it, it is a keyword. In English, we call it keyword. It has, has a lot of meaning. Okay. Yeah. Bibi can be like me. Some like like me. I can say this is this is my wife. Who you is your wife? Yeah. I, I'm saying. For, <laughs> I'm not saying you, but I'm saying I'm saying for example. example yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is my wife in English. Who you who you need Bibi yangu? Baby, who you need, okay, baby? Let's take it one step at a time. Okay? Yes, yes. It means you are grandma, baby, wife. In other wife. way, yes. Okay, depending on the context, yes. it could be either wife or grandmother. I want you to teach me like basic Swahili, like words that are very important that very I can't important. do without. I can't do without. Like yes. I must make use of such words every yes. day. Yes. You know. Yes. When you want to interact with somebody, when you want to buy something, those basic words that I can easily grab. Then with time, and since I'm here with you now, you're going to be teaching me the main, the main, the main. But for now, let's just stick with the basics. Like habari. Okay. Habari is what? How are you? Uh -huh. um, let me... You have forgotten. Which no. teacher is this? Who brought this teacher here? <laughs> Usak himo. Eh. Okay. Okay. Like habari utasema mzuri. Hey. Eh what? Mzuri. Mzuri. Yes. M U. Yes. Z U. R I. Yeah. Hey, go fear pro now. Okay, mzuri is what? Ani, it is fine. Fine. I'm fine. Yes. I'm doing well. Yes. Okay. Okay, so is this all about greetings? Yes. This is all I need to know about greetings. Yes. 
Okay, so why do I say yes, sour sour? Anywhere I go to, uh, sour sour. Because if you say something, if you say sour in pigeon, it means the thing has spoiled. Ah, everywhere don't sour. Oh, sour, it is sour, spoiled. Only sour is just a common, just like saying it. Okay. Okay, just like no wahala. No problem, right? Yeah. Okay, so sour. Is it sour or sour sour? Sour. Sour. Yeah. It means no problem. Yeah. No problems. No wahala, sour, sour. Uh -huh. What again? Mm, what is sasa poa? Sasa poa is what? How are you? Greeting. It's still greeting. Yeah. What of poa? What is poa? It's poa. I need mean, to still am, I'm okay. Okay, sasa. Uh, that is, I'm very okay. I think yes. the poa is like adding more emphasis on being okay, right? Yeah. I'm very okay. Sasa poa. poa. Okay. Sasa poa. I'm very okay. Uh -huh. Next. Things, yeah. So how about like in Nigeria, if you want to greet somebody like someone that is elderly, yeah. you don't just say good morning. You add good morning, yeah, okay. sir. Sasa. Good you morning, can, man. Like, like Sasa, it mm. is a, a Sasa. Mm. That means you can't greet our uh, elder people, Sasa. How do you it also them? goes to the age. Those are your age set. Okay, age so group. how do you greet the elder the elders? How do you the greet the elders? Shikamo. Shikamo. Yeah. Okay. That's how are you, right? Yes. You even forgot one. Mambo. I always hear mambo, mambo, you forgot uh, that one. Is mambo also greeting? Is it not part of greeting? Hello. Summary Sheng. Do you okay, know what Sheng she means? What is Sheng? Sheng is use your microphone. Sheng is just uh, mixing English and, and Kiswahili. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So everything is not Kiswahili. Okay. Yeah. Those are now the, the languages that you, most most of them who use those, most of the people who use the those languages are youth. Okay, but can you tell an elder, Mambo? No. It's an insult, right? It is not an insult, but like it, you're it's not, not a, showing respect. It's not a, yeah, it's not a respect, a respectful word to elder. Really? And yeah. I used to use mambo for elders too. Wow. Thank God I know. No, no, no. Now. Okay, so you said for elders, instead of saying South Sasa, which is how are you, you say what? To elders. Yes. Shikamo. Shikamo. S H I. Yes. She K A. Yes. Shikamo. M o. what? M O. Yeah. For elders in brackets. Elders. Shikamo. Yes. Okay, so are we done with greeting? No, yeah, no. Now, we, if you greet Shikamo, mm. uh, she must reply. What's the response? Marahaba. Marahaba. Yes. So if a child greets me Shikamo, yes, I will say Marahaba. Yes. So the response will be Marahaba, right? Yeah, Marahaba. Maraha. Ba. Ba, yeah. Like haba. Yes. <laughs> Marahaba. Yes. <laughs> okay. So what next? Yes. Money. Mm -hmm. Hello. I want to buy this for so so amount. Okay. Yes. The first thing is if you want to buy something, you will have to ask you you in fact you, you will say Habari madam, Habari Mama, give you Habari just Habari madam. Kunauza haje. <laughs> Kunauza haje. Yes. I used to hear ngapi. What is ngapi? Unaweza sema pia unauza unauza yani the like this phone you can say unauzaje simu? Unauza pesa ngapi simu? Come again. My brain is still booting. I'm trying okay. to get it. Unauza aje simu. Ani, unauza pesa ngapi simu? Hey, one step at a time. Unauza pesa ngapi simu? Una. How much is the phone? How much is the phone? Yes, unauza pesa ngapi simu? Okay, for example, you want to board a matatu. Yes. And you want to ask them how much. Yes. So what do you say? Because I always hear people say, ngapi, ngapi, ngapi. Yeah. So is ngapi different from what you're saying? No. It's the same. Yeah. Then why are you stressing my brain now? Huh. <laughs> is it not the same meaning? 
Because now, you want, what you want, you want what, okay, what you want is ngapi or you use ngapi in a sentence? Why is ngapi in the first place? Ngapi. Ngapi yeah. means how much? Hey, hey, I want to buy tomatoes. Ngapi, simple. Uh, the, yes, ngapi is how much. Uh -huh. that way. Now, uh, what I'm doing, mm. I'm, nini, I'm writing in a sentence. Okay, what is the sentence? Unauza pesa ngapi. Oh, okay, you ngapi. add ngapi at the end, yes, right? Yes. Unauza. Uh, yes, because you can't go, you can't go there to buy something and you say ngapi. Mm. Yeah. Una una uza pesa. Pesa ngapi? Pe. Pesa. Pesa. Ngapi? Yes. Pesa. Ngapi? Ngapi. Ngapi. Okay, instead of saying ngapi, you can just say. Unauza pesa ngapi. Yes. <laughs> Is it correct? Did yes. I pronounce it well? Yes. Unauza pesa ngapi. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, yeah. That next one, next one, next one. See, every morning, if I wake up, once I finish praying, I'm, I'm carrying this book, reciting Habari, Sasa, Muzuri, that, Sawa, yeah. Sasa, Poa, Unauza pesa ngapi. Hey, who they breathe? Who, who they breathe? Uh -huh. So still... supposing they now blow one big one for you. Use the microphone now. Yeah. Supposing they now blow one big one for me like this. To not throw me off balance. I won't know what to say. Uh, come out, come up again. What are you saying? And for example, you now say, Una uza pesa ngapi. Yes. Then they now ask you one very tough one. Like which one in particular? Yes. What are you asking for? Yes. What will I now say? I will now mm -hmm. point at it. This one. Yes. They will not catch me now that I'm a foreigner. <laughs> no, 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 no. By the time they blow the big one and I'm he, not able to sema, respond. Sema he. What is the meaning? He, this one. He. He. I'll just say he. Yes. Okay. I'll just point at it. He. Yeah. But you can't right? now you need to talk the way you are talking. He. No. <laughs> you take with you talk with the manner. He. He. Yes. Oh, you know you don't like stress. You no, know, no, 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 no. As in pole pole, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you just say he. Yeah. Bit swag. He. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That is this this one in particular, right? Yes. Maybe you'll find he's selling a lot of things. Mm. You say this one and this one. He na he. Okay. He na he. For example, you want tomatoes yeah. and onions. Yes. You can point at tomatoes and say he. Then onions na he. Yes. He. Nah, he. Yote ni pesa ngapi? Yote ni... Hey, I'm... He yote ni pesa ngapi? Small, small. He. Yes, can yote. you write he yote ni pesa ngapi? He. Yo. Yote. Yes. That is how can much you is everything. Can you follow me? The way I'm, I'm pronouncing. Okay, do it again. Come in. He, he yote ni pesa. You look at my mouth. You stop looking at the book. I'm the one, <laughs> I'm the one talking. Hey, teacher. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right on, right on, sir. Yeah. He yote ni pesa ngapi? He yote nepa ne, ne, ne. This is a tongue twister. Yeah. No, forget. Don't look at the book. For, he yote nepe sangapi. Yes, he yote. Ani, he yote nepe sangapi. You're fast now. You're, I want you to be fast. He yote nepe sangapi. Hey, he yote nepe sang. <laughs> he. Okay, he, let us go. He slow. yote nepe sangapi. Okay, he, he. Okay, can you follow me? He. He. Yote. Yote. Ni. Ni. Pesa. Okay, it's ni pesa. Yes. Okay, not ne. He yote yes. ni pesa ngapi. Yes. He yote no. ni pesa. Ta ni yes. pesa. He, he yote ni pesa ngapi. Yes. He, hey. he yote ni pesa ngapi. He yote, he yote But you ni say na nini? You, you can you let the your words flow. Eh. Hey. Yeah. He yote ni pesa ngapi. Yes. He yote ni pesa ngapi. He yeah. yote ni pesa ngapi. <laughs> Woo! Okay, yeah. that's how much is the total? Ume, ani, uh, ume shika hiyo. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come again. Yeah. I think it's actually easy, but you're speaking it too fast. No, 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 no. Before my brain grabs it, my brain is like, what's that shock? <laughs> yeah, but I'm okay. teaching, in fact, I'm teaching you the simplest. Very, the simplest and very very, very slow. Uh, okay. So we'll learn the remaining ones off camera. And on that two weeks, are you assuring me that I will uh, learn this on that two weeks? You will be speaking fluent than even me. I, I can't wait. I can't wait, honestly. 
because based on what you've taught me truly i won't lie yeah it's not difficult it's yeah. just that you're a little bit fast no, no, no. Which one? I, I was fast. Okay. Can you're you? Saying, re I can, I can repeat. He said, look at my mouth. Pronounce it the way I'm pronouncing. Yeah. I can repeat a hundred <laughs> times. I can repeat a hundred times. You know, when a teacher is maybe, you need, when your teacher is lecturing, mm -hmm. you can't hold up your pen and start writing when he is. The first thing, you listen. Yeah. Yeah, you listen. What is this person lecturing? Okay. Yeah. Ah, me I'm a typewriter. Well, as the person is talking, I'm writing. Go, 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 go. It's then, remaining for me to write the cough that the person coughs. I can write how, very well. Then that okay. is how we fail the exam. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. you are you you write, you don't know what you are writing. You you your work is to write. Even even if 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 you come tomorrow and tell you tell me what we learned yesterday. And you go and read it now. You cram and you pour it for him. La cram, <laughs> la pour. No, Abi, you really. When I tell people you understand the vibes. You cram and you pour it. You see when he lecture, what to what? When and he the lecture, teacher will give you hundred over hundred. No, 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 no. When he lecture, because he and, gave it to him back to back, exactly what yeah. he said. When he lecture and you follow his mouth, mm. in fact, you can you can tell you can tell even tomorrow mm. what he lectured without even confirming in in, in, in the book. Eh, yeah. everybody has their own method of learning. Anyway, okay. So. Let's go through it one more time okay. and we'll call this video a wrap. It's actually getting very dark. If you've yeah. noticed, the camera quality has really dropped because, you know, this camera stuff has to do with proper lighting and it's already dark. Because yeah. of him, I have to drag him, beg him yeah. to come and sit down and film with me. Please, if you should beg him in the comment section, let him help my life. Okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. Habari, how are you? Sasa. How are you? She no, come no, 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 no. I, I didn't say Sasa. How, how? I what? say Sasa poor. See, Sasa poor is different oh, now. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Habari, how are you? Sasa still means how are you, but for yes. your age group. Yes. Then for elders, you say Shikamo. 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 Yes. Shikamo for elders. Yes. And then the response will be Marahaba. Yes. Okay. Then Muzuri, I'm fine. Yes. Sour, no problems. Sasa poa. Am I pronouncing it correctly? Yeah. Okay. Sasa poa, I'm very okay. Right? Yes. Then, Unawuza pesangapi, how are you selling? Yes. He. <laughs> it's as if it's in there. He, nahi. So, H I I. He, nahi. He yote ni pesangapi. Yeah. He yote ni pesangapi. Yes. How much is the total? Mm. Hey, so you guys, we'll call it a wrap here. It's been an amazing time. Yes, it's actually possible. But I still doubt if someone can learn everything within two weeks. I doubt. You can learn a lot, but not like everything. You can because learn. even English, you can even learn English, everything. new words are still coming. People are still learning more. Yes. You get. And so, you see the second thing. Mm. We are supposed to have maybe a Swahili book, mm. uh, storybook written in Swahili. Okay, like a book, right? Yeah. Now I, I read and you follow you follow me. Do they sell such books? Yeah. Swahili books. Yes. And you get even one you can me. buy a, a magazine, like a, a newspaper. Ah no, that one will be difficult. But you know all those books that will be teaching newspaper you. Newspaper is more is easy. It's the easiest. Mm -mm, I don't agree with you on that. I beg to differ. I mm. feel all those books, those story books that they write, um, this and okay, they write okay, the okay. meaning in in Swa they write the Swahili words and then the meaning. There are in too English, many. There are too many. And then everything. you can I buy them. You, you can buy them way. even even in the bus hawkers. They have them. Oh, they have them inside that's buses. good. That's good. It's going to speed up the process. Yes. All right, guys. So, so you can this... teach my my, my English there. Teach you. <laughs> 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 okay, guys. <laughs> scrap that. Scrap that. You didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much if you watch up until this point. I hope you've learned a thing or two for my Nigerian brothers and sisters that are watching this video. I hope you've learned a thing or two. Yes, it's possible to learn Swahili. And based on what I've seen, based on what I've heard from yeah. him, it's not, it's not difficult. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed, click on the subscribe button. Yeah. Subscribe. Give this video a huge thumbs up. And let me know your thoughts about this video in the comment section. Till I come your way next time. See you in our next video. Bye-bye. Kwaheri. Kwaheri. <laughs>